Hi everyone, welcome to this video and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about my fitness slash career journey and the purpose of me sharing this story and sharing my journey is to hopefully inspire you and kind of give you perspective of, on what my journey was like and just know that everyone's life is totally different. Everyone faces different circumstances but through me telling you guys about my story, hopefully that will motivate you and kind of um, encourage you to kind of push through your journey as well. So I think the most important part of where it all began was grade 10. I had on this shirt and I just felt extremely bad about myself and the way that I looked. I don't know why, I just took look, one look into the mirror and I was just like so shocked on how my body looked in that shirt particularly and I think something in my mind went off and it was just like wow like Gina you look horrible you need to lose weight like why have you gone you're like why did you let yourself get this far and like you need to start eating healthier etc etc all those negative um, self-talk thoughts and that led me to a spiral of such negative habits and I just remember grade 10 to like halfway through grade 11 maybe like my eating habits were very poor my i was literally burning out my body by doing like two hours of cardio a day and obviously with not eating enough i was literally destroying my body and so that was definitely not a proud moment but definitely a learning experience and i was just grateful to have gone through that with like the help and support of loved ones around me at that time because I would force myself to eat less than a thousand calories, probably average like 70, 700 calories a day. And that's for someone who is still in high school, who is still growing and who needs at least 2000 calories on average to um, function because not only were was I like busting my ass off and like working out for like two hours a day, like constant cardio, but like I'm also using energy to learn I'm also like needing it to like just do like regular stuff like everyday functions and my body was just not having it or I was just having terrible sleep quality I was always exhausted I was always irritated I just never felt happy even though in my head I was like oh if I look a certain way if I get skinnier then yeah of course I'll be happy right but I think I got to an, a very unhealthy weight and a very unhealthy lifestyle and despite all that even meeting my end goal i was not happy at all um luckily i got like a wake-up call from a guidance counselor who kind of just like brought that topic up and in my head i'm like why would she say something like at first i was very defensive i was like why would you say something like that and like obviously i'm fine the way i am but i think that led me to realize okay maybe everything that i'm doing isn't great because I was constantly tracking what I was eating. Even when I went on vacation for the very first time with my family overseas, we were in Cambodia, I literally took like pictures of every meal that we ate, not because I wanted to like keep it from memories, but because I wanted to like police myself of what I ate and like to kind of find the closest thing possible on um, what was it called? Like my fitness pal or like a fit like a calorie tracker just to like put in those calories as close as I can, just so I can track my calories. I even brought a food diary with me so I can literally track every single thing that I ate and to make sure that I write every single exercise that I did to kind of make up for that and like that is just a, it's such a miserable way of living and I can't believe that I did that to myself but I'm glad that I went through it because I did learn a lot and I feel like through my experience, I really, really, really want to help people to not have to go through that experience. So that's part of my mission with my brand, which I will talk about later. Overall, the rest of my high school experience wasn't bad because um, I was able to eat a balanced diet. After all, I was not controlling what I ate very strictly. And so I didn't even track any of my food anymore. I just literally ate when I was hungry. I ate what I wanted and just went from there. And physically, I didn't um, go overboard with working out anymore as well. But the only thing was that I stuck to cardio just because I was in that mindset of being afraid of lifting weights because, oh, I don't want to get bulky, et cetera, et cetera. So I just stuck to like a consistent cardio routine. And then going into university, this is where I kind of want to start to get into talking about my career. So in high school, I didn't 
really have an idea of what I wanted to go into. I think just from ever since I was young, I've always wanted to become a doctor. And I think society kind of puts that career on a pedestal, as they should, because doctors do so much. But I think I just lived in a bubble that the only professions I could really think of that's in the science field, because I was really interested in sciences and healthcare and all that. And I think the only thing that you can think of when you're young and not exposed to different occupations is a doctor. Like I wanna become a doctor. Like that's what everyone wants basically. But at that time I knew that like I wasn't going to want to commit to that many years of schooling and like um, paying for the, that long of schooling, tuition, whatever. I came upon this program at McMaster called the Medical Radiation Science Program, which is like um, you go into medical imaging essentially and right after that program you can get a full-time job and I think that's one of the main points that stuck to me was because my goal at that time and you know, uh, in high school was to graduate get a degree make money and just like pay up debt and just just have money essentially like I just want I think I, all I cared at that point was being able to make money and just kind of like support my family and all that and so I went into that program. I specialized in ultrasound. Later on, second year, my mental health wasn't the greatest. I formally just did therapy and try to like seek healthier ways to cope with my emotions and my stress. And second year is also when I started to dibble and dabble into strength training. And so I started lifting weights. First year, I also remember just doing cardio every single day. Okay, not every single day because I wasn't consistent, but it was always a stairmaster. Literally, you'll find me in the gym upstairs doing the stairmaster and then doing those silly like butt kicks and stuff, thinking like that would grow my butt. But we know now that like strength training is key. So there's that. And it was very fun actually and scary because I was very intimidated to be in the weight section at the gym because everyone who looks like they know what they're doing it's just they just appear so like intimidating i'm just like oh like i don't want to take up space or like i don't want to be in their way i don't want to look dumb etc etc but honestly people are actually so friendly in the gym for the most part and i think no one's really watching you everyone's focused on their stuff on the, on themselves so if that's something that's a barrier for you that's preventing you to go and try it out like please just go either go with a friend go with someone that who already goes to the gym or even talk to a trainer because they're there for a reason they're there to help you they're passionate about helping you like learn different movements they're passionate about helping you on your fitness journey so by all means use all the resources that's there don't be afraid you got this and and halfway throughout my program I'm like oh crap like I don't think like this profession is for me I definitely do not see myself going through with this for the rest of my life and even learning in class I was just like eh, like this is not like something I'm like passionate about like I just wanted to like get it over and done with at that point and like I was also debating whether or not I should switch programs because I knew like I didn't want to waste time or money but then at the same time I was just like I wanted to be sure if I were to switch in something that I was definitely sure of it because that would also extend the years before I graduate and also add up more money to my student loans. And so I just like kind of bit the bullet and I was like, you know what, let me just finish this because I know that guaranteed I could find a job right after this and I could just pay off this, like pay off my debt, my student debt and then figure it out slowly afterwards. And so that's what I did. I thought maybe if I give it a chance after I work full time in the field and not being a student, I would actually like it and stick to it. Yeah, I was wrong because I did not like it, clearly. But um, before I get into that, actually no, let's get into that. Sorry, I'm looking down because I kept the list of things I need to talk about in order because I'm, I know I'm gonna come off a tangent, which I feel like I already have, but yeah, so after I graduated, which was a very proud moment for me because um, I have an older brother as well, but we come from um, immigrant parents who have not had the opportunity to attend post-secondary due to circumstances that they have been through and they've been through a lot. And we really appreciate having the opportunity to have this experience regardless. So I think that was a really big thing for me as well. And 
I think that's why I put a lot of pressure on myself to kind of make money and kind of give back to my parents because they've done so much for us and I think as a child of immigrant parents you always have that pressure on ourselves to always just give back and like repay them for everything that they've done so I think that was one of the reasons why like I kind of misguided myself because I didn't think about me in this career choice but I thought about them and I didn't realize that once you actually put yourself and your needs first you'll be at your best and that's how you can best take care of them in return so that's something that I've been learning unlearning and learning you know so for you guys out there who are also kind of struggling with that same pressure on yourself is to just focus on you and eventually when you're at your best that's when you can best help others started working full-time realized it wasn't for me I was immediately extremely like drained I was always burnt out especially when we the pandemic came in because just being in a hospital setting at that time was extremely depressing and I just remember being like waking up for work was extremely hard I was always tired and it was just something I did not look forward to and I stressed about all the time and I always felt anxious coming into work um, and so through that, when we went through the pandemic, I realized that like, okay, well, there's so much time since we couldn't do anything and then like work if we went for work or like stay home. So I kind of like ventured out into opening my first business and that was um, custom greeting cards. And so what I would do is I would get a picture from someone who would want a custom card and I would kind of like paint over on this app on my iPad, just so it's kind of like a painted version of that picture and I'll kind of put a picture there too and print those out and put whatever greeting they want or messages inside and kind of go from there so that was like my first ever business i guess it was an interesting experience to say the least because i am the least artistic person ever i did that for like a few months um had fun with it and learned a lot from like the business aspect side of it it's like how do you like promote how do you like um speak with customers and how do you kind of like organize everything so that all of your products and such are made properly and make, ensuring good quality and everything like that and so that was a very good learning experience uh, but I stopped that just because I knew like I don't see myself doing that long term either it's just not the most artistic person and while I was working full time at the hospital I was also working part time at a gym and so as a sales and staff sales and service staff and that was a very interesting time because i realized that i was way happier working at good life than i was at the hospital even though there's a big pay difference in the two and eventually i was just so burnt out at work at the hospital um, that i kind of seeked professional um, help as well so i went to therapy i kind of found someone that i thought that i would resonate with better than i did with the first therapist i saw in school and luckily um as someone who wasn't doing financially well and was still kind of like paying off my student debt and such um, i found a therapist that was on a sliding scale which means that the therapist is willing to kind of adjust the cost of their services depending on your situation and luckily she was able to um, set me up with a really good price which I'm extremely grateful for because she has really helped me a lot through this tough time that I've been in like the past few years I learned a lot of tools from her about how to take care of my mental health and like how to like rewire my brain and thought processes because negative self-talk was a huge thing for me and I think that was what just stemmed into other things I was also just kind of wondering what I wanted to do next career-wise and so I was just doing a lot of um a lot of inner work I would say just to kind of see okay what do I like doing what do I enjoy doing and what am I passionate about and so I remember reading so many books surprisingly when the answer was really right in my face because I was already working in good life like I knew or realized that I wanted to work in the fitness industry and so once I had that realization I was like okay like there's a lot of things happening. I think I wanted to eventually start working full-time at the gym instead and just drop my ultrasound job at the hospital. But then with the pandemic, that was so difficult because the gyms kept closing. 
and then I just like okay you know what like I need income so like I have to like stick through working at the hospital until things get better and in addition to kind of um trying new things during the pandemic I also started my own fitness page I think that was one of the big things that kind of made me realize that this was something that I'm passionate about and so I just started cooking more at home and just trying new recipes and just trying to like have like a fitness and wellness page just to track my own journey because I did have a lot of back injuries um, due to work and so just by doing that I could feel my energy being recharged because I was doing something I was passionate about and I think that's what made me kind of want to progress from that and just branch that into something that I would do professionally and so that was a big turning point for me as well realize that oh like i actually have um a deep interest in nutrition as well and so that kind of goes hand in hand with the fitness aspect and so i was looking more into programs that i could potentially go back to school for just to kind of get more knowledge and be credible in what i want to do and so i had this interest in becoming a registered dietitian and so schooling would take many years and i'm like in my head do i want to go back to school and start over and i just had such a big worry about that because i didn't want to feel inferior so i guess my ego kind of got in the way because it's like i felt um shitty about myself i would say just because i'm like oh like i'm like almost 25 and i'm starting over while everyone else is going to be like so much younger and like it's, it's gonna feel crappy that um, I feel so far behind and just literally feel like I'm starting over and things like that but that actually doesn't matter anyways because half of my program we're all like at different ages and we all come from different like educational backgrounds different careers and like all that stuff too so for any of you that are thinking about changing or switching careers starting over by all means do it it's never too late that's one thing that I definitely learned from this and no one's gonna judge you because everyone understands the fact that like you can't decide what you want to do for the rest of your life when you're only like what 17 18 years old and i feel like that's so young um and you don't even know what options are out there at that point right so i think it's so normal to just um switch careers or start over if you have to right like things change you can change and like uh, passions and hobbies change too so by all means do what you gotta do and keep going i applied for the nutrition program at tmu and luckily got accepted and i think that point when i saw the email that i got accepted i was ecstatic because when i was in that hospital job i literally saw no ending and it just felt like i was stuck and it was just a horrible feeling of feeling stuck and once I saw that acceptance, I was like, wow, I finally see an end to this path in my life. And I finally see like a light at the end of the tunnel because this is like a new journey that I'm ready to venture on. I'm ready to take on to start living my life the way I want to. And so once I got that, I'm like, okay, now I need to like figure out when I can leave my job and like start focusing more on the job at the gym. And so I was fortunate enough to quit after in the spring and so that would have the summer off so I think I quit in June yeah I quit in June got June July August off and after that after I quit I just felt so free and like the weight on my shoulders was lifted off the only sad part of me quitting was that I was really gonna miss my coworkers because 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 um <laughs> They have been such a huge impact in my life the past two years that I've worked there. And I think without them, I probably would have struggled so much more than I had. And I think the team that you work with really make or break your working experience. So shout out to them. If they're watching, if you guys are watching this, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, but yeah, so I quit my job and like focus on recharging myself from that burnout and luckily was able to go out into the west coast for a couple of weeks just to explore i've never been there before so that was a really nice break from the whole city and just exploring nature and having fun and seeing the beautiful views and just allowing myself to just take in every moment without stressing about what am i having to do next so coming back from then i focused more on working more hours at good life and kind of like slowly transitioned into um, becoming a personal trainer and like 
while I was still working in the hospital, I would get up early every morning just to like study for my personal training certification. So luckily in that summer that I quit, I wrote my exam and got certified with NSCA. So that was a big step for me as well. And I was very, very excited for that new journey. And yeah, so then I started school um, in 2021. Yes, I started school in the fall of 2021. Then I like officially became a personal trainer at Good Life, started working more hours, and then something very difficult happened to me um, winter of, no, the late fall of 2021 into winter of 2022. So those six months, seven months, it was a very tough time for me with dealing with personal things. And I think that was probably the lowest point that I've had. Um, so I had to put my life on pause and I think that in itself made me very upset because I was on this high, I was on like on the roll of getting things started and like um, starting my new life and just my new journey and like growing from there and like school and then career wise too. But at, sometimes life happens, you don't expect it and you just gotta put your life on pause and just like take care of the basics first and then kind of get back to it. It's never too late, kind of like ease my way back to the regular routine again and so I started slowly getting back into work um, I got a bit more clients I learned a lot more from everyone around me and just kept reading more like just grabbed every opportunity that I could to kind of just better my skills and better myself and just kind of take care of me mentally and physically as well and not kind of neglect that because I have a habit of like just shutting down when things kind of hit the fan, but that's something I've kind of learned and grew, grew from. So yeah, and in the May of 2022, when things were starting to get better, I was able to go on a trip with my friend um, to Korea for a month, which was such a great experience. And I'm very, very grateful and appreciative for being able to have that experience. And I think that was a really nice way to kind of just get away and just take care of my energy and just recharge and just kind of like enjoy myself and not think about any stressors and so once i came back from that trip i was very recharged and inspired and i continued to work hard and i learned and i grew and i just kept doing things to just kind of improve myself and my skills um and yeah and then fall of 2022 i eventually moved out and started my own business grow with g and which is now moving glow and basically the purpose of me starting my own business which is something i've always wanted to do is like start my own fitness um, brand i guess fitness and wellness brand is because i am very passionate about helping people improve their fitness and well-being in all aspects in their lives i'm someone that wants to make an inclusive environment which allows you to incorporate certain techniques and like tactics into your life that will help you improve your fitness and well-being and make it a sustainable system for you so that's one big thing that i'm focusing on is to just move like incorporate movement into your daily life it does not have to be um complicated and to just allow yourself to do the inner work to allow you to glow in all aspects in your life and yeah if you want more learn more about that brand or my brand sorry please look into the description box click the link below or even send me a message if you want to learn more or just talk about things in general my dms are free please message me at my instagram page moving glow um you'll get faster responses there as opposed to email email is more for just like um i guess like professional stuff my inbox is open for whoever needs or wants to reach out i would love to connect with you all and yeah so started my own brand and left like a life job which i was really really sad about because i also loved i also love my coworkers there too once i started my own brand i kind of started working at a studio downtown a pilates studio pilates was something that i've never done before like i always tried like a couple of the videos on youtube and such but the machine that you use for Pilates, so the reformer I've never used before working there. And so that was a very interesting thing to learn about and I'm actually really loving it. And so yeah, Pilates has been a very good experience. I'm growing and learning as an instructor. Um, it's so, I find it so amazing that it's something that I now would like to incorporate into my brand as well. So it's a mix of strength slash Pilates and wellness 
and so that's what my brand is all about and now I am where I am trying to spread awareness of mental health I'm a mental health advocate and I want everyone to kind of be at their best and feel their best and so I have lots of ideas and lots of projects that are gonna come out hopefully this summer um, so stay tuned for that I'm very excited to launch them and yeah that's where I am now I am working on my brand working at the studio working at creating content and finishing school pretty soon and one thing I would like to know about school is that I did mention that I wanted to become a registered dietitian but something that I noticed this year is that I'm kind of straying away from that idea now because I would like to focus more on my own fitness and wellness brand and have more flexibility with that and I feel like if I go that route um, that would require a lot of time and attention from me and so I think I'm very set on expanding and growing my own brand and just kind of going from there and if you made it till the end of this video I am very 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 grateful for you to have watched this very long video and I'm sorry that it's very long but I feel like there were just certain details that had to be um, included and like I wanted to make sure that I got every main point in and just kind of like have side notes for like advice or like motivation and such but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions or would just like to chat and connect feel free to message me on instagram or even leave a comment down below and yeah thank you for watching i hope you guys have a good day and just make sure that just realize that you are important and you deserve to live your best life so no matter what it is don't hold yourself back and literally life is too short to be living a life that you don't like so just literally just go for it that's one thing that i want to sum up for this video is just do you and do what's best for you and what makes you feel good because trust me things will align once you have that mindset when you put yourself first everything will follow through so yeah have a good day